here with undefeated and former WBO middleweight champion Peter Quillen. What's going on, Peter? How have you been? Um, I've been actually great. I feel good. I'm feeling fit and I'm ready to go. That sounds good, man. And I'm really happy to see you. Now you'll be fighting for a title that you once owned. The current champion of the WBO middleweight title is Andy Lee. What are your thoughts on Lee as a champion? Um, I think very high of him. He's accomplished what a lot of guys in the sport get, try to do, which is become a champion of the world. And um, for that being said, oh, that man, that's my little dog. It's been, it's just been a, a good thing to be battling the guy that's, you know, the champion, and you know he has the pressure to be to perform like a champion now. Now, Andy Lee was behind on the scorecards against Matt Korobov, and in the sixth round, he landed that patent right hook. Is that an alarming situation you want to avoid? Have you been working in the gym to keep away from that right hook? Well, we don't know if he can actually hit Peter Quillen with that same punch. So what I can say is actually, you know, we just train to just work hard and, and be determined behind our intelligence. So um, I, I just kind of say that you always have to be watching out for, you know, punches. You know, uh, some guys make a mistake thinking I'm a left-hander fighter and I come in and throw a right hand and they go, they go out with the right hand. So I can be actually looking for his right hook and actually forget about his left. So you don't want to be sleep. You don't want to be asleep at all in that fight. Now, when the announcement came with you vacating the WBO middleweight title, some boxing fans were very vocal and with negative comments, you know, towards that decision. What were your thoughts? Were you angry at some of the people that were saying, oh, why, is, why did Peter vacate the title? When most didn't know that Al Heyman from PBC had something, you know, Dude. cooking in the pot. Yeah, not even that. It was just not the right time for me to get in there and fight. I had some um, family issues that I was dealing with. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy that I made a decision I can live with. My uncle pa unfortunately passed away from cancer, you know, during this whole moment. This is one of the reasons why I vacated, because I wanted to spend time with my uncle. You know, I had a new son, so I was kind of confused about losing somebody and also gaining somebody within my son. So, you know, I, I, I could probably understand why, you know, um, David Chappelle turned down $50 million. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people criticize him for that. And I watched the interview today and I was very inspired to watch that because, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people, you know, um, criticize him. He said he learned when he was turning on his phone looking for his friend, he forgot he didn't have no friends. Cause you get so get lost out there and you forget about who you are and for me it's about staying true to yourself and understanding that sometimes decisions you make can define you as a person and i'm, I'm glad to make a decision that you know i mean that people criticize me and i really got to see who my friends was i mean it was a lucrative uh, payday of 1.4 million uh like you said you know money isn't everything so you made the right decision for yourself and for your family right. correct you know how much does a smile cost <laughs> why don't you uh Talk to your Kit Chocolate fans as to why you'll be victorious on April 11th against Andy Lee. The reason why I will be victorious April 11th is because um, I seen my uncle fight having cancer and he lost the fight. And it told me that what I can do as a being a fighter is that I can go in there and prepare and be prepared for this fight. And knowing that the reasons why I fight, I fight for my son, I fight for my, my I fight with people with cancer, I fight with any kid that you know, want to go out there and acquire for their dreams and they want to use something as motivation. Motivation. I am that motivation. So I think April 11, why I'm going to come out victorious is because I know the reasons why I fight. And it's not about money. It's not about girls. It's not about partying. It's about being a winner and showing the world what I'm able to do. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.